The Basilica of Santa Croce, Church of the Holy Cross, was built in the late 13th century in the Florentine Gothic style. The church is known as the Pantheon of Florence since it contains the tombs of many famous Italians. Construction of the church started in 1295 on a site near the Arno River where Franciscan friars had built a small oratory. According to Italian architect Giorgio Vasari, the church was designed by Arnolfo di Cambio, a Florentine sculptor and architect. The church was consecrated in 1443 by Pope Eugene IV. The marble facade by Jewish-Italian architect Nicola Matas was added even later between 1853 and 1863. He is buried under the entry to the basilica. Funds for its construction were provided by a wealthy British citizen. From across the Arno River you can see how large the church truly is. The white facade is on the left. In 1512, the bell tower was destroyed by lightning, and it was only replaced in 1847 by a new neo-Gothic tower. Famous Italian writers, composers, poets, and politicians are buried here, but the most famous monument inside Santa Croce is the one that contains the remains of Michelangelo di Lodovico Buonarroti Simoni, better known as Michelangelo or Michelangelo. It was designed by Giorgio Vasari and shows Michelangelo's bust flanked by the mourning allegorical figures of painting, architecture, and sculpture. Michelangelo died in 1564 in Rome, where a tomb was built for the artist in the Church of the Twelve Holy Apostles. Michelangelo, however, had indicated he wanted to be buried in his native hometown, so with the approval of the Duke of Florence, his nephew stole the artist's body and transported it to Florence. Opposite Michelangelo's tomb sits the tomb of Galileo Galilei, the father of modern physics. Galileo died in 1642, but as a result of his condemnation by the church in 1633, he wasn't allowed a Christian burial until 1737 when his body was buried here. The central bust of Galileo is gazing toward the stars. The allegorical statue on the left represents astronomy, while the statue on the right represents geometry. There are several more monuments in the church, including the tomb of Niccolo Machiavelli, an historian and diplomat whose book The Prince led to the term Machiavellianism. Aside from the basilica, several important palazzos are on the square. On the south side of the square lies the Palazzo dell'Antella, a long building with a facade decorated with beautiful but mostly destroyed 17th century frescoes containing a theme of virtue and divinity. The facade is the design of architect Giulio Perigi and is the result of the union of two previously existing houses and was commissioned by the owner of the building, Niccolo dell'Antella, a lieutenant of the Academy of Drawing, and made in the years 1619 and 1620. Many artists worked on this decoration under the direction of Giovanni da San Giovanni. The windows are made of odd sizes. The building has the windows positioned at greater distances gradually away from the basilica. The windows closest to the church are nearer to each other. This is to give an illusion of greater depth and therefore makes the square look bigger. From the church, the windows all appear to be the same size. Palazzo Cocchi Serristori is on the opposite end of the basilica. Today it houses the headquarters of the first quarter neighborhood of Florence. <laughs> 